Phone right here taking a look at the uh, LTE speed test with the uh, HTC Thunderbolt here on the left and the new uh, Samsung Droid Charge here on the right. I'm going to run the uh, speedtest.net app. As you can see, they're both uh, averaging around uh, 5 to 6 megabits per second on the download and the upload speed on the Samsung Droid Charge is about 4.3 megabits per second. Um, of course, we all know about the uh, upload speed bug with the uh, HTC uh, Thunderbolt, so it's you know really not getting uh, 29 megabits per second on the upload. Change uh, servers here. And we'll run the test again. As you can see, pretty close uh, speed between the two. Um, does seem that the uh, Thunderbolts may be getting about one megabit per second faster on the uh, on the download, uh, depending on which uh, server we're connecting to. So can't really uh, complain here about the uh, LTE speed of the uh, of the devices with uh, Verizon's 4G LTE network. So let's exit out of here and uh, go into the uh, uh, web browser. Okay, we're going to uh, open up the uh, Phone Arena website. Okay, both are loading uh, pretty close here. Still seems like the uh, Thunderbolt is slightly faster than the uh, Droid Charge. Just see which one finishes first. As you can see, it's loading all uh, Flash content. And yeah, the uh, Thunderbolt just finished and the uh, Droid Charge seems like it's still uh, continuing to load here. Okay, so they actually both finished uh, pretty close, maybe just about three or four seconds difference here. So just take a little uh, closer look at the uh, browser. Now that we're in uh, landscape mode here. So as you can see, both are uh, laid out pretty uh, pretty close with their uh, web browser, the uh, the WebKit browser. Both support a uh, pinch to zoom on the device. Well, it actually, seems here that the uh, Droid Charge browser is either stopped responding or is stopping for some reason. So I'll have to uh, investigate this a little bit further uh, with our review since we just uh, received the device today. This is the first time we've actually been able to uh, use the web browser. So hopefully the, this is just an isolated issue with the, uh, with the web browser. Um, but if it's a definite issue, uh, we will point it out in our upcoming review as it seems to uh, be, uh, be taking a long time here to uh, scroll on the web page. So um, we'll have our upcoming review later this week. So uh, be sure to check back at phonearena.com.